All right, you guys. Uh, today I'm going to show you how we're going to grid out our uh, seven by nine one inch grid uh, using just a regular old plain piece of eight and a half uh, by eleven uh, printer paper. If you're using a little different size paper and you need help with this, uh, feel free to email me and I can tell you what the measurements would be. Okay. Uh, so first, we're going to make our horizontal lines. Uh, when we're making horizontal lines, it's important that we always uh, measure vertically okay uh, we're gonna do the same like we would do with anything and we're gonna measure three times on our paper in order to get some straight lines all right so we're making our lines this way and we're gonna measure down the ruler uh, this paper is 11 inches all right uh, vertically uh, and we need nine boxes so that's gonna leave us with a margin of one inch on the top and the bottom we're not going to measure out the bottom one because it's a margin uh, so that if we make a mistake, uh, this could be an inch, it could be a little shorter, it doesn't really matter, okay? Uh, so I'm going to start at the top. Uh, notice with my ruler here, uh, I have a little bit of a gap here, so I'm going to start with this first mark, and I'm just going to go through somewhere on the left side of my paper, and I'm going to make marks every inch, okay? All right, we're going to do a lot of erasing with this project. Uh, when you go through to put some shadowing and anything on the face So it's gonna be really important that you guys make these marks and any lines that we create Nice and light. I'm gonna do this a little bit More dark just so that you guys can see it on the paper uh, When you're doing this video, but just know that I'll have a lighter version uh, When I start to do the final project, okay, so I did one set of lines on the left side one set of marks in the middle here uh, and now I'm doing one more on the right. Uh, just in case you didn't know, uh, the reason I always make three marks is if I was to make one mark, I'm just guessing that this line that I'm drawing right now is straight. It could be tilted or anything like that. Uh, and if I just had one mark, I'd never know. Okay? I don't make two marks because if I made a mistake with two marks... Uh, they're going to line up, all right? Just think of connecting two dots. Uh, if I do three, though, and I look down and I notice that something's off with one of the marks, I know I have to go back and recheck my work uh, to see that I don't need to make another line, okay? So notice how these are nice and spaced out. Uh, they're all an inch apart from each other. Uh, and they're just going down there. One common mistake that people will do is they sit here and they make all these marks Going down vertically and then for some reason they see these dot to dots And they just want to line the ruler up this way and draw a line through there. Don't do that Remember we measured down this way to make our lines this way Okay, this next one can be a little complicated. So there's kind of two different ways that you can do this uh, If you're pretty good with your ruler, you could just start at three quarters and work your way through, right? So three quarters, two and three quarters, three and three quarters, four and three quarters, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, and that'll get you where you need to be. Uh, we had an inch up here that happens to work. This is eight and a half, uh, and we need seven boxes, uh, which just leaves us with an inch and a half on each side or three quarters on each side. So what I'm gonna do for you guys is, this will make it a little easier, uh, is I'm just gonna make real fast a three-quarter inch line here as my starting place okay let me double check that one there okay so I'm gonna start with that three-quarter inch line here and this way if I do this uh, I can just measure off of this line inches which might make it a little easier for some of you okay so now that I've made that three-quarter line I'm gonna go somewhere towards the top here. Sorry, I've got to stand in the way. Line up any number. It doesn't have to be the one. doesn't have to be the end of the ruler because we're just making inch marks. I'm going to go through and I'm just going to make my marks. Okay, and if you see here, I'm left with three quarters of an inch left on this side. Okay, I'm going to do that one more time in the middle-ish. Uh, so starting from any number, I'm just going to go through make some inch marks here. Okay, and then I'm going to do that one time towards the bottom here. Okay. A 
All right. Uh, so now I've made those horizontal marks, I can go ahead and do my vertical lines uh, and do that. Now notice that I have a margin here. I don't need to draw into these spaces, all right? If I make a little mistake, that's okay. Uh, but the less we can erase for our final project, uh, the better, especially if you're using printer paper. Uh, the reason good paper is so nice is it has some nice tooth to it uh, for picking up graphite and things uh, when you're drawing on it. The other really good thing about regular drawing paper that we don't really get with printer paper is it can take a lot more abuse, uh, meaning it can be erased a lot more uh, without showing any signs of wear, just kind of tearing down there. All right. So if you sit there and you did that all right, uh, you should have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven boxes on the top. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine boxes going down and the margin all around there. Uh, at this point, you're just going to want to go ahead and erase these outer lines here because those are not going to be used in our grid project. Now, if you're sitting here erasing these lines and they are not going away, ooh, that's a bad eraser. All right. That means you probably drew these too hard. If they can't be erased right now in this margin, they're definitely not going to be able to be erased in your picture for your final. Uh, and that's going to be a big problem. So you may want to take a step back uh, instead of doing all the work later and finding out you can't erase it uh, and draw it a little bit lighter one more time before we start the final. Uh, you don't really want to handicap yourself going into this. Okay, that's just not really uh, what we like to do. All right, so there you go, guys. Uh, that's a seven by nine gridded out piece of paper for us to be able to do our final drawing on. All right, uh, again, if you have any questions, please email me and uh, I'll always get back to you. Take it easy.